everybody. What's going on on this lovely Sunday evening? This is Tammy coming to you with uh, more Dollar Tree haul. I went yesterday and I found a whole bunch of, of things to bring home to my home and to give to my grandchildren and to utilize. Every day that I go there is just enough different for me to have to walk through the entire store and inevitably find all kinds of different things. I'm gonna put my glasses on, I can't see. I'm gonna see how the glare goes uh, and uh, bring you these items here today. I'm gonna to see if I can get out of this light and kind of uh, reduce the glare from my glasses. I do apologize for uh, any inconvenience that that might cause, but it's important for me to see, so I'm gonna do the best that I can. Uh, just when you thought that I told, uh, just when you thought I was not going to be wearing any makeup, I was telling you that I was not. Today I decided I was going to go ahead and put some on. I've been buying all this makeup from Dollar Tree, this name brand stuff, uh, hard candy and uh, other things. And I thought, what the heck, I'm going to go ahead and just see if I can put it on and see what it looks like. So not too bad. Uh, I am happy with the products that I've tried so far. Let's get into this haul. I don't want to keep anybody. Let's get into what y'all came to see. So I'm going to start. I've got this kind of categorized kind of. I'm going to make myself comfortable here. Hopefully I won't have to keep um, moving myself around the bed. But I'm going to start with party and stationery. I found this very cute. Uh, let's see if we can get rid of that glare. But it's a Busy Bee notepad. It says Busy Bee Shopping List. I know the busy the bee is becoming uh, ever so popular right now. I'm still on the hunt for that uh, shopping bag. I haven't found it, unfortunately. And uh, I did see a couple of DIYs on how to make a beehive, and I'm hoping to be able to do that. I've purchased just about everything to make that, so I'm going to try it. Um, one of the other things that I purchased that was a bee-inspired uh, was this uh, sticker Set that can go on the wall, your door. They work better on flat surfaces than they do on textured walls. I do have a hard time sometimes with my textured walls to put these stickers on. But this one says, Be Happy. It has the bubble bee and the flowers. And I got two of those. They're absolutely beautiful. I just uh, love the bee, the whole bee theme that's happening uh, this year. It's just gorgeous. Hopefully you can see that without any type of glare. Uh, the other one of the other things I think that's pretty much all for the bee stuff it wasn't very much but it I was happy to find what I did find the other notepad that I found was this floral notepad and uh, it's by green crown jewels and it uh, is just says jot it down simple as that jot it down let's see if it lists how many how many sheets are in here it does say grow peace in your heart I didn't notice that before but I do love that I love the flowers. I love the, the simplicity of just jot it down. It doesn't say how many sheets, but it's it's beautiful. I have an addiction to notepads, notebooks, as well as makeup, and uh, a few other things that you will see repetitive in my hauls. Uh, I did also get this picture or a framed art that says choose joy. Again, to go along with... Um, being kind and stopping and just appreciating life and realizing how lucky we are to be alive and healthy and here on this earth another day. So choose joy. I love that. So it's in a back black frame imported by Greenbrier. Um, it's got that mint kind of mint green and pink striping there. Love it. I did pick up some stickers too, uh, the tile stickers. I'm, there's a lot of uh, haulers that have been hauling these. I just picked up some more. This is the first time that I had seen the silver, um, the silver pattern uh, coloring. So just silver of all different shades. Here you go. There's a good picture of it without glare. I do hope. I did go ahead and pick up some of these stickers that I've been seeing hauled here lately. They're the um, antique, or antique ish looking tags. You can use those for anything. You could use those for gift tags. You could use those for scrapbooking or your journal. 
uh, for your calendar. They're just beautiful. Uh, very vintage looking. I love that. Um, this is more like um, for like Valentine's Day, same kind of vintage feel. Kiss, uh, that was, there's uh, seven pieces here on this one, tags, or just for your calendar, for your journals, any of that. They're just absolutely beautiful. Let me just check. Uh, that one was, all, this, this one right here I showed you before, this is an eight piece. I'm guessing because of these two small little stickers here. So just beautiful. In the party section or station, party stationary section, I wanted to let you know that I went ahead and picked up two of these. Pardon the glare. They're the very long tablecloth covers in the iridescent like rainbow effect. I was watching Chi Town Girl. I love her, absolutely love her and her channel. I watch her on the regular. And she had a great suggestion of using these tablecloth, iridescent tablecloths for other things that they don't just indeed need to be used as a tablecloth. And I thought, what, you're right, light bulb went off. And I thought, what, you could probably use this as gift wrap or, um, Something like that. I, f I felt more like gift wrapping would be the best thing for me or bag filler or anything like that. I thought it was a great idea. I did buy two of this iridescent uh, rainbow effect striping. Um, absolutely love it. I also bought it in this beautiful uh, iridescent blue turquoise color. I love, love, love this. I would have to say out of the two patterns. This is probably my favorite. I did buy two of these as well. So I was really happy to find that and more happy that uh, Shy Town Girl came up with that idea because I would not have thought of that on my own, <laughs> unfortunately. I'm just throwing my things back here, so please forgive me. Um, I, in the party section, I did find the, the yard stakes, the balloon yard stakes. As I told you, my daughter-in-law, she does a lot of uh, parties at her home as far as kids uh, parties uh, she does the birthday parties and you know Easter eggs and all of that stuff and she hosts that, those things so I thought I was watching again some youtubers doing some hauls and coming up some, with some great ideas and so I purchased these for her so she could um, decorate her home for her party it comes with four yard balloon sticks so um, so you blow up the balloon and you, as you can see in the picture, the balloon goes on top of the stick and the stick goes into the ground. And you can uh, have as many as you want to line your walkway or scatter them around your lawn, whichever you choose. So I thought that was really fun. I bought a couple of these actually. I think I bought two of these for her. Um, in the party section, I also got these 12 latex balloons. I actually was, brought my grandson with me yesterday to go uh, spend the day with me shopping and going to the different DTs and he wanted these balloons, these latex balloons and Gia was oh so happy to just say, yes, go ahead and throw them in there. So he carried them his whole trip and then uh, he fell asleep on the way home and I was able to get him back home so we can play with him, uh, excuse me, play with them when he gets here uh, the next time. So those have uh, po polka dots all over, over them and there's 12 in this package. And these are distributed by Greenbrier. Um, in the stationary section, I did break down and get the Westcott medium, uh, medium cut uh, scissors with the purple um, sparkle in the handle. I don't really need scissors, but I when I saw that purple, it just called my name. So I got a pair. Uh, it has a 10 year warranty, so I was happy to see that. I uh, don't have any of this brand, so I'm not sure exactly how well they work, but I have high hopes for these Westcott scissors. Uh, then on, uh, in the party gift bag gift section, I did go ahead and purchase some gift bags. I, I have purchased this uh, a couple of weeks ago and I saw them up there again and I was like, let me just go ahead and get some more of these. I just absolutely, absolutely love this bag. It is absolutely beautiful with the bike and the flower basket, the balloons, 
Uh, it's all, there's glitter on the bike and, and where the flowers are and the balloons up here are glittered. Just absolutely beautiful. Here is the side panels. Let me open that up for you. This flower, floral, floral side panel. Just absolutely beautiful. You open the bag up. I'll show you how large it is. It's not that large. It's a small bag, but enough to get something wide in it. Uh, the opposite side is not glittered, but just as beautiful. Oh my gosh, it is absolutely beautiful. So I bought several of those, probably four. And on my previous uh, trip to Dollar Tree prior to starting the channel, I probably bought two or three as well. So I was happy to see those out again. Um, oops. So I love, 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 love those. Just beautiful. In the, um, the holiday section, or uh, I was able to find some window clings. I'm not usually big on window clings, but like I told you, I do um, celebrate Memorial Day, Veterans Day, and 4th of July. Um, so I was able to find these. I hadn't seen them yet out anywhere. This is window clings that says Happy 4th of July. This is, includes, uh, let me see if I can get that glare, the barbecue grill, the hot dog, uh, hamburgers, uh, everything that we associate with 4th of July, the flag, um, those types of things here. The apron, it says United here, so I absolutely love that. I will be putting that on the front uh, of my house, the windows on the front of my house, so I'm excited to do that when we are more close to July. This one is more like a banner uh, type 4th of July, so here we go. It says Happy 4th of July, and it's a banner type feel to it. I really like that. I thought that I could hang this as a banner and then maybe put some of those, um, the, one, the one prior, just hang some of those things underneath this banner uh, on my window. I have a huge, uh, it's a, like a, it's three different windows in the front of my house, but the, it, it's in the entirety of the front of my house. So pretty large uh, set of windows in the front of my house. So lots of room to put these um, these sticky stick-ons. Uh, another one I liked was this I Love the USA. And it has uh, a lot of different stars here, a heart, a bow. Uh, this is, uh, does it say? It says nine clings on this one. And I don't think that they're, well, yeah. They're not counting. Now these little tiny stars that you see here are not little stickers. They're just to, uh, they're just here on this particular um, window cling, but they you can't take them off. But you might be able to cut them out and use them for something else on a project or something, for sure. So I got that one. And the last one, the last window cling I got was this uh, American flag. I really like that. Um, and it says celebrate. There are uh, 13 clings on here, counting the 4th of July, uh, the stars here, the rocket, all right there. Let me see if I can get that glare off for you guys. Yep, really like that. So like I said, there's a lot of room there on my front window for me to be able to put window clings. And then I have a very large uh, sliding glass door in the back of my house that could handle some window clings too where I would barbecue and all of that. So I really like that. And uh, to add to that, I found these uh, flags. It's a heart flag, uh, excuse me, a star, a star flag there. It says, God bless America. I think that it just comes on. There's a little string, feels like there's probably, there's a little piece of plastic in there probably with a little string that you can hang on the door. But I also thought if you purchase those little, um, the um, flag holders from the garden section, you could also just break that little plastic piece off and put this on the flag holder um, also. So you don't have to just hang this up. You can also use that. I bought two of those, one for me and one for my daughter-in-law. Moving right along, I'm going to go ahead and get uh, into the food section. There isn't too much. 
I don't uh, just some junk food. Junk food. What's new? So I did buy this these Andy Cap uh, cheddar fries. They are 30 ounces. They are made by uh, let's see, distributed by Conagra Brands. They are super good. Probably too good. Andy Cap's cheddar fries. I'm. I can tell you already. I've tried these several times, and they're super good. I really like them. I don't. I've never tried the um, hot fries because I am not a hot or spicy kind of person. I did buy the ranch fries for the very first time. I have not tried these yet, so I'll have to let you know how these are. These are also a three ounce package. May uh, distributed by. Conagra brands. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm, I'm confident they'll be pretty good. I also purchased uh, several of these smoked oysters. My husband and my son eat smoked oyster, oysters. I do on occasion, but they, they really like them. These are three ounce package. And if you can get them at the, do at, at the Dollar Tree, that's where you should get them. This is the cheapest place that I've found to to get these uh, at is at the, the Dollar Tree. They don't always have them, and they sometimes have them with the veggies. My husband and my son don't particularly like those, but when they have the ones just packed in oil, uh, they love those. So I picked up several of those, probably about six. So they will be happy to have those. I did go ahead and get me some more of that apple pear hint with a kick, a caffeine kick. I think it has 60 milligrams of uh, caffeine in here, which is what, about the ha half of what a cup of coffee has. This is, um, yeah, 60 milligrams of caffeine, 16 fluid ounce. I can tell you I've already tried this. It's really good. I do drink hint. I primarily get it at Sam's Club. When it's on sale, it's typically, I can get it for less than a dollar a bottle there at Sam's Club when it goes on sale. But this was, a, they don't have, I wanted to try the kick, uh, the little kick. And, you know, I drink coffee on the regular, so not much of a difference. But I do like the flavor of the apple and the pear. I did notice it. So I picked up a couple more of those. I also picked up, um, oh, my downfall, the Godiva domes i have purchased so many of these i just purchased i just purchased 10 more of these these are the double chocolate chocolate domes by by godiva sorry about that guys uh they are um 1.1 fluid ounce they expire in july 2021 not to worry they will be gone probably by tomorrow that's how ridiculous i am about eating these they're just too much i just love 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 them so those are the Godiva uh, chocolate domes. Oh, they're so good. My description does not do them justice. They're really good, guys. I wish they'd be done with them so I wouldn't have a reason to buy them. I fell on the bag bandwagon and I found the Tic Tacs, the Coca-Cola Tic Tacs. I don't eat Tic Tacs, but I thought I could throw this in my husband's and son's uh, Father's Day or birthday little bags. Uh, they're not, you know, they're, they're not huge Coca-Cola uh, people, but they do drink soda and energy drinks and different things like that. So I just thought I would throw in the Tic Tac, the Coca-Cola Tic Tacs just for fun. So I got three or four of these for them. They are um, 0 0.84 ounces. And let's see if they have an expiration date. I'll look, take a look. They're limited edition, of course. They have Coca-Cola on each tack and let me see i don't see an expiration date really on here so i'm sure they'll be fine and they'll be gone soon after father's day at the latest so those are the coca-cola tic tacs i'm gonna throw those over there that one can go over there let's move on to health and beauty so i went ahead and uh Purchased some more Ioni uh, Lash Glue. It's 100% vegan. Uh, let's see if it has an ounce on here. It doesn't. I don't see. It is designed and distributed by Ioni. 
uh, lash glue. I have been trying to learn how to put, uh, I see the glare in my glasses, I apologize. I've been trying to learn how to put false eyelashes on. I am, you're not, it's going to be a while before you guys will see me on uh, with those on because I am having a really hard time. Um, I got to keep practicing, practicing, practicing. It's really difficult for me to put these on, but I'm going to keep trying. Since the Ioni uh, lashes are only a dollar and the glue is only a dollar, I am, I am definitely going to keep trying to learn how to do it. I think it's a beautiful look even for us older women, and uh, I am definitely going to keep trying it and hopefully master that. Um, of course, no haul would be complete without a little makeup here uh, for me, and t this haul was no different. I went ahead and picked up the LA Colors. I look at so many uh, YouTubers, uh, Shy Town Girl, uh, Thrifty Divas, um, Bon Bon Hauls, uh, Donna on boxes, so many different ones, and uh, I want. Some, I just am so curious when they mention some of these colors. I need. I just want to go out there and try it. So I did go ahead and find uh, the LA Colors Intense Color Lip Gloss in rubies. That's not typically a color that I would use. I'm excited to try it. I'm not really a red person. I'm more of a mauve kind of pinky. Uh, purpley person sometimes a nude but I'm gonna try that that's more on the red side than normal for me but I'm excited to try it for a dollar why not I also um, got the trendsetter lip color in teddy bear and that's I'm gonna take that out of the package here see if you can see that there I'm also gonna let's go ahead and do a swatch here this color oh that's pretty it's a new definitely it's more on the or whoop, orangey side I don't know if you can see that more on the orangey side there but it's pretty I knew it was going to be more on the orange side so I was excited to try that I'm gonna be excited to try that um, let's see the next color I chose was the plus I wanted to try I heard one of the girls talking about the plumping gloss and only in my dreams, Anna and only in my dreams, she said she was talking about how this does make your lips tingle, but not to be afraid, it will stop and your lip, it actually works that your lips will plump up a little bit. So I was anxious to try that. And I got this uh, LA Colors Plump Gloss in the color Swell. It's more on a red color too, so. This will be interesting. We'll see. I'm branching out, branching out, getting daring. Yes, I'm definitely getting daring. Uh, the other thing that I got more from my granddaughter was this uh, lip gloss in Candyland. She loves to wear lip gloss and lipstick and makeup and all of that. So I got that in for her. Uh, I'm going to reach over here too because I got her a whole, they were selling this whole set here and I got her two sets, one for her and one for her cousin uh, by Spirit DreamWorks. They had this for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. There are seven, seven pack flavored lip glosses here. I got at the Dollar Tree, unbelievable for my five-year-old granddaughter to play with. I just couldn't believe I found those. So um, it says for three and over, of course, she's five. She just turned five, so she's in heaven. She'll stick these in her little purse, and then she'll put them on all throughout the day. It's quite cute. I also found these Bathory um, poofs again, this time in green, so I grabbed a couple of these. Uh, I just love these. They're so, so dense, and I'm so glad to get them for a dollar. I change these out monthly, so I grab them, at least one of them, every single time I see it because I do change them out once a month. And so if you just buy one, maybe two, I mean, that you're going to be out before you know it. So I am, I wouldn't say a prepper, but I do like to keep things back so I don't run out of things that I enjoy or need or use on a regular basis. So this is by the Bathory. This was something that was sold at Target. 
and uh, you can tell that they are, uh, you know, what I look for when I go to the Dollar Tree is this uh, ribbon that is um, like a rainbow colored ribbon and it's, you know, thicker than um, the Dollar Tree ribbons. Okay, so look for that and you'll be able to tell. Uh, the other thing that I picked up, I think I talked to you about this uh, the last time that I came on, was the Dermacil Eczema Relief Moisturizing Lotion. This works wonderfully. Let's see if we can get the glare off of that and out of my glasses. So sorry, guys. I don't know how to do to stop that. I need to see. Um, and uh, this is a six fluid ounce tube. This is great. Even if you put this in a separate container and keep it in your purse, that would be awesome just so you can keep your hands hydrated because putting on all this sanitizer and washing your hands all the time really, really dries out your hands and damages them. And I don't know about you, it makes my hands more prone to cracking. So this is great stuff for a dollar. The other thing uh, along those lines that I picked up was uh, these wipes. I was so shocked to um, find these wipes. These are 75% alcohol wet wipe by Roll High. R-O-L-H-E-I. They're wipes and there are a hundred wipes in here. Unbelievable. I picked up four of these. One for each of my vehicles and for uh, in my home. One for in my home and one for each of my three vehicles um, to keep there to wipe down the steering wheels and seats and uh, our hands and whatever. Take them into the store to wipe down the carts, whatever we need them for. It was unbelievable purchase, I thought, for a dollar. So I got four of those. So we continue on in the Bath and Beauty, more makeup. I did get the Trendsetter uh, lipstick in Peaches as well. Pinkish, I'm sorry, pinkish, that's in pinkish. Me and my pinks, I love pinks and mauves. It's more of the, on the mauve side. Let's go ahead and take this out of the packaging too. Take this out of the packaging and see if I can do a decent swatch. How about here on the back of my hand? Let's try that. That's pretty. That is pretty. I don't know if you can see that, but I love that. I don't know if these cameras all, always oh, and get the glare up. I always do these justice, but oh my gosh, so pretty. Let me see if I can try um, this one again. What's this called? This is called Teddy Bear. That's B-A-R-E. Oh, I'll put that right beside there. Here. There we go. That bottom one there is Teddy Bear, and that's pinkish. Very pretty. I'm excited too. And then lastly, we have the Trendsetter Lip Color in Snuggle. Let's go ahead and swatch this as well. Still have a little bit here, but I think we're doing okay. We'll do Snuggle right here on the bottom. Oh, goodness, that's pretty. So... That snuggle right there on the top. I love that. That's gorgeous. Really pretty. I love that. Yep. Love it. Can tell you that right now. That's beautiful. And then lastly in health and beauty, I think, is this contact lens case. And I actually don't wear contacts. I wear these glasses. But I do occasionally have, am on the go and I need to take some vitamins or I keep some Tylenol. So I keep fit in this cute little case here instead of a dull little pill container or a baggie or whatever I can put it in this nice little case so that's what I bought that for let's go with um arts and crafts arts and crafts was just a small little uh, I did pick up some some faux moss I'm I'm trying to make uh or I'm thinking about making like a succulent garden so I picked up some um, faux moss stones to utilize for that. I picked up two packages. So there's that. There are 10 pieces in a container. There we go. So that's, I got two of those. I'm sorry, I for, let's go back to health and beauty. I did pick up this uh, maintain your style black hair bonnet for my 
my uh, son. So uh, I'm going to give that to him for Father's Day. He's always messing around with his hair. So I bought this as kind of a gag gift. He's, he's very, like I told you, he moisturizes and really takes really good care of his his personal hygiene and all that. So I'm just kind of teasing him because he never wants a hair out of place. So I thought I would give this to him in his Father's Day bag as a joke. All right, sorry about that, guy. back, guys. Back to um, arts and crafts. I was able to find these wreath charms. I've been looking for them for quite some time. So I got a couple of these butterflies. They're beautiful. They're about as big as their coasters. I love that. I got two of those. And then I also got the Choose Happy. They had a couple different other ones, but those are the two that I chose. So Choose Happy with all the flowers. Just beautiful. I love them. I got the um, Blue Jewel Border stickers. I have a plan for these. I want to make some boxes that I saw one of my favorite YouTubers make. Uh, she does arts and crafts, and uh, she bordered one of her boxes with these jewels. And so I purchased those in the hopes that I might be able to um, mimic what she made. So those are beautiful. They're kind of, they're kind of a baby blue iridescent um, sticker. So there's that. I gave in and bought the nautical rope. I don't know what for, decorative knot, nautical rope. I don't know. Like I said, I'm trying to be artsy craftsy. So I'm, I'm buying things, even though I haven't really made too much of anything. But er, so many YouTubers use nautical rope in their arts and crafts. So I bought myself two, uh, two rolls or two items two of nautical rope to, I don't know, make something. Make something. And then I bought the extra large glue sticks by Crafter Square. There are five pieces in here. I do have a... A mini glue gun. I'm trying to decide whether I should invest in a real and a larger one. I have done some projects, uh, but not a whole lot. And I, like I told you, I do a whole lot of diamond painting, and I find it hard to tear myself away from the diamond painting and do other things. But I really, really want to. So I did go ahead and just buy the large glue sticks, uh, thinking of it. Well, I'm thinking about buying the larger glue gun. I bought a five pound removable hook uh, for my room. There's something I wanna hang up on the wall and uh, definitely requires one that can handle a, a higher weight. So I like the clear ones because I do have textured uh, colored walls. So I prefer clear than white and black and uh, I think wood grain look because it really just stands out too much for my liking. So I bought a couple of those. Um, next I did buy, find some more of these beautiful napkins. Oh my gosh. I love these birdhouses. It's just, they're just beautiful. So I, like I said, I pick them up every single time I can find them. Oh, back to health and beauty. I found the makeup vanishing towel and I have purchased this and love, 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 loved it. And they went off the shelves for a while and now I see they're kind of trickling back in. So I wanted to make sure that I bought another one. I absolutely love this. This works like a charm. If you guys uh, need something like that, just pick it up. This works. I, I never did have the one that, the more expensive one, or name brand, name brand one, but I don't need to. I know that this one works great. I also, I found uh, in the, I'm gonna say in the decor aisle too, I found this kind of just laying there on a shelf all by its lonesome. I absolutely loved it. It says, hello fall. It's a box. It's got all these pumpkins and all of that. And I just absolutely loved it. Inside, you can see the pumpkin uh, there. It also says, hello fall. It says, hello fall all inside of it. I just love it. Fall and, and Thanksgiving are my favorite. I do go all out with tabletop decor and all of that for Fall and and Thanksgiving so um, I just love that and then uh, for in the house I also picked up some more of these take-alongs for uh, my grandkids puzzles I put them in there um, so we the pieces don't get lost so we're gonna go to you're gonna see me reaching over now um, to get some things 
that are away from me. Puppy aisle, the doodle aisle as I like to call it. We've got some chicken uh, jerky strips. They are There are like three or four chicken jerky strips in here. He really liked those. He tried them for the la first time last night. He enjoyed those. So uh, he eats it, ate it a little bit faster than I would have liked him to. Sometimes he forgets to chew and he scares the daylights out of me. But um, anyway, I'm just going to break them up in smaller pieces and hope he does better. And then, of course, the sweet potato wrapped with chicken. I, he likes those a lot and he does well with those. You get about three of those in, in one package for a dollar. Not too bad. I really like the fact that there are not a whole lot of ingredients. Uh, when we do go to the puppy park, we I do take a little puppy puppy bag for him. It, it contains uh, bottled water. Uh, it contains uh, wipes, wipes, baby wipes, uh, water dish, those types of things. And we needed to get some dog waste bags. And I went ahead. I couldn't find any cutesy ones, but doesn't matter. Um, I needed some dog waste bags, so I picked those up. I think there are 60 bags in this uh, bag, in this uh, bag, and uh, that will do us fine for a while here at the doggy park. They do offer them at the doggy park, but it's just easier to pull it out of his doggy bag and call it good. You guys, excuse me, I'm going to pull everything over here toward me, what's left. So forgive me, forgive me. Here we go. Don't holler. But we're going to do um, arts and crafts. We're going to finish that up. I did find a whole bunch of washi tape. And who could pass up the wiener dog? Oh my gosh, look at that. Wiener dog. Just all kinds of dogs. But look at these dogs. Oh my gosh. Just loved it. I couldn't say no. So there we go. The other one that says, travel the world, travel the world with the picture of the world on there. Just love that. Love that, travel the world. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, the glare in my glasses. Sorry, guys. I don't know how I can make that better. Is there any suggestions? I'm open to it. This one I could not say no to. This is the alphabet. My granddaughter starting school. My my daughter in law is a huge scrapbooker. I just bought her all the things that she could handle to make to start my granddaughter's kidney garden scrapbook. So she'll be getting this. I loved it. It's all the letters of the alphabet. And for the the last of the washi tape are the French bulldogs and the paw prints. What? So cute. You know this was made for me. My little doodle, the little puppy here walking around here is my French Bulldog, Jax. You will inevitably see him. You'll definitely be hearing him if you don't see him. But, oh my goodness, so cute. So, so cute. And then, um, let's go to home. So I did pick up this Grill, Eat, Chill, Repeat um pot holders just these two to match those napkins and the other grilling and grilling or barbecue um, items that i've been picking up along the way i also picked up a couple of home of the free because of the brave home of the free because of the brave towels they are the, um, what, are, what are these called? 